Hello, welcome back to Start With Toys. I'm Ames. I'm back to create more doll customs. In the comments, there were requests to make Hasuni Miku. She is a humanoid persona voiced by a singing synthesizer application. And off camera, I made two custom dolls of Hasuni using mostly turquoise, black, gray, and other acrylic paint colors. I use modeling clay to scope out the twin tails, headset, as well as the hair accessories. And in a little bit, I'll show you how I transform the mini doll over to my right hand using Applejack Mini. And she is from the School Dance Play set. And this set here, it comes with a lasso, a rose, cowboy hat, a removable skirt, cupcakes, a purse, and other accessories too. Here is Applejack Mini straight out of the package. I want to quickly go over some of the steps so we can dive right into the transformation process. I plan to transform her entire hairstyle by removing the low ponytail hair using an X-Acto knife and then I will be using modeling clay to give her two high set ponytails. With the piece here, I will turn it into a collar and I plan to remove the skirt and use a different doll skirt so it has more flair to it. And for the boots, I will remove these details using a nail filer and then give her a clean finish. All right, so let the transformation begin. Here we go. I have the low ponytail removed and it's time to take off the fringes. And as you can see, it is quite a struggle, right? The super glue is definitely no joke, but eventually I have it removed and I'll go ahead and take off each side of the ears. And I will repaint her face using this color called Sun Kiss Peach by Apple Barrel. I'll also fill in the eyes using white paint. And then later you will see me using a pencil to fill out those details before I start painting them. So I want to share some fun facts about Hasuni Miku while you watch me paint. Hasuni is portrayed as a 16 year old. She performs as an animator projection at her concerts and she was featured in over 1200 tracks and over 800 music albums. She was also in a remix with Pharrell Williams and Live Tune back in 2014 called Together at Last. For the anime style eyes, I use a mix of blues and I outline everything using black paint. Once the paint's set, I use a piece of tissue, saran wrap to secure the entire head, and then I set it aside. It's time to scope out the fringes. I take a piece of molly and clay, use a roller to flatten out into a thin sheet, apply it on top of the doll's head, and use an X-Acto knife or any sharp tool that will give me clean edges. Then I want to add more Molly and Clay on top of the head, that way it adds more dimension to the hairstyle. Another fun fact about Hasumi Miku, her name is a combination of Japanese words, Hatsu meaning first, Ne means sound, Miku means future. So in essence, when you combine Hasumi Miku, it means the first sound from the future. That's pretty neat, right? Next, I am scoping out the twin tails and I will have to allow it to dry for at least 24 to 48 hours or for faster time, just leave it out in the sunlight. And before I add the twin tails to the doll, I also want to make the hair accessories. I want two thin strips of modeling clay. I'll form it into a square and then I'll paint it black and red. Once all the scope pieces are dry completely, I like to use Fabri Tac glue and some more of the modeling clay to bind all the pieces together, allow it to dry for another 24 to 48 hours, and then it is time to paint. I use a few coats of turquoise paint just to make it nice and bold. Onto the body, I use Sun Kiss Peach as a prime coat, and Hasumi Miku has this signature look, which is the halter top with a black skirt with turquoise trimming paired with a pair of black boots. So that's what I'll be doing. Another fun fact, her voice is modeled from Japanese voice actress Saki Fujita. With this piece here, I remove the ends, that way it look like a collar, paint it silver, and glue it onto the doll's neck. Also, I use foam sheets to create this cool 3D tie here. 
also glued onto the doll using Gorilla Glue. So here is the custom Hasuni Miku. She has a cool removable headphone. Isn't that awesome? I finish it off with a gloss sealant, that way it looks nice and glossy. Let me know what you think about this doll custom, and if you have any doll custom requests, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. Please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Also, give me a follow on Twitter and Instagram at Start With Toys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!